And now, I'm very pleased to invite to the stage Dr. Tammy Erickson with her speech, Leading by Sticky Notes. All right, well, thank you so much with Finding Your Inner Greatness in Cracks. That was fantastic. So I am pleased to be here once again. So thank you for inviting me, Dr. Hazib. So I met Dr. Hazib, uh, it seems like many moons ago, but it's probably just a couple of years ago, at one of his podcasts. My friend says, oh my gosh, I'm going to present at Dr. Hazib's and nobody's going to show up. And I'm like, really? So I showed up and really, no one's going to show up to Dr. Hazib's? Well, I had no idea even who he was back then, but you know, the whole idea is that you just show up. And then so I showed up, but I became a regular. I was there every single week. And so, you know, it's it's great to show up every single week, but he becomes addicting. He, yeah, Dr. Azib does become addicting. I'm sure there are several of you here that that'll agree with me. And so then he says, what are you doing? What are you writing all the time? And I said, I'm writing things that you say. And he's like, well, what are you writing? Like, tell me about it. And I said, no, I'm not telling you what I'm writing. And his face was like, what, that, what are you doing? You, you're you not telling me what you're writing? And I said, no. I think it's the first time anybody ever told Dr. Hazib no. And I said, well, I'll make you a deal. You have me on one of your podcasts. After all, I'm a regular. I should, I should get that honor. And I will make these sticky notes because that's what I'm doing. I'm writing sticky notes. I have a few from today. And, and I'll put them together and, and then I'll share them with you. I have to kind of be prepared. No, no, your podcast, you say you're not prepared. So we did the podcast and I actually shared my sticky notes with him. And he was unprepared. And it was a great podcast. You can find it. It was a few years ago on his YouTube site. So we went through this process and it was great. And somehow I was dubbed the sticky note, uh, hashtag sticky notes. You can find that somewhere as well. I don't know where it exists anymore either in the world, but it was kind of fun for a little while. But then somehow I got written up in his book. Yeah, see, look, there's even a sticky note on that. Uh, so that was a lot of fun as well. So moving right along, that didn't go, you know, we, we continued this sticky note thing for a while. And after one of the first conferences, uh, yes, you can find that on his YouTube somewhere else. And I am known as a bit of everything. And I'm also known for having many hats. And I became the princess or maybe the queen i'm not so sure of sticky notes funny how that is uh as as we go i have lots of hats my company is called bit of everything i have lots of hats that i wear so but you know moving on with some of the real real pieces of sticky notes it is a method that i've used for a long time I'm not sure when it started, but I call it the sticky note method, and I've taught it to many people. And basically, it's writing down words of wisdom from other people. And these other people could be people that I meet anywhere. Everyone has words of wisdom for you. I write words of wisdom from people that I meet in the grocery store. It's unfortunate that all of our groceries these days come from online, right? You order it. You never have people that you meet anymore. Not me. I still stand in line and talk to people. It could come from people at your church. Who knows? It could even come from your kids. It's amazing what comes out of the kid's mouth. So um, it could come from books, but I write them on sticky notes and I put them on my desk and I practice them for about two weeks, and then I throw them in a box or in a drawer or wherever I keep sticky notes. I put the sticky notes on my desk. Sometimes they're on the table. Sometimes they will be hung up on cabinets for my husband to remember. 
because he also gets sticky notes. Um, my mom gets sticky notes. I make sure that everyone in the house who needs words of wisdom gets sticky notes. Not that they appreciate them as much as I do. Now, when I did this presentation for Dr. Hazib, uh, my friends attended and they said, oh, we know she really does sticky notes because she used to do them for us. We also know they're real because they're full of cat hair, some kitty litter, maybe some food, tape. They're crinkled up, so we know she uses them. The two that I'm working on this week, just to let you know that they're real, the first one says that it's okay to say no. Now, be careful with that. You should not say no to your mama. Careful with that. That could get you in trouble. You should not say no to your daddy. That could also get you in trouble. Mm, careful with your significant others. That could get you in trouble too. But I'm trying to work on saying no to some extra projects. I'm getting used to saying no to people like Dr. Hazib and, you know, working out a balance of how it should occur. Just because somebody wants it doesn't mean that it's appropriate to give them, right? We're, we're talking about uniqueness and appropriateness here on this. Um, and I'm also working on one thing at a time. All of the leadership books and leadership things that I've been doing all this time is about multitasking. CEOs and those around me have said, you know, you really should multitask multitask is a really, really bad thing. When employees come to you, they want your attention. They want to tell you what's wrong. They want to tell you what they feel, what they need. If you as a manager, boss, leader, et cetera, are busy typing on the computer, texting, they feel put aside. They don't feel like they're getting what they need. You need to put those aside and do one thing at a time, and that's focus on the need of the person in front of you. So I'm practicing one thing at a time. So I wasn't kidding about sticky notes. So um, I'm shaking them up. These are some of the most recent ones. I pulled out, there's no particular order. So we're just gonna kinda, I'll try to keep my commentary aside, but that's really hard for me. If anybody knows, I'm a storyteller, so who knows what you get. All right, let's see some of these words of wisdom. Oh, this one I think we've heard. Don't stop dreaming. I think we've heard some of that today. Uh, some words of wisdom. Oh, here's one. No repeating the rule. You, oh, this is mine. Cannot bring me the same complaints without bringing suggestions. It drives me crazy. This one used to be on everyone's desk when I had staff because you cannot come to me with a complaint or an issue if you do not have at least some sort of solution. I don't care what your solution is. You can make up whatever solution you want. Don't care if it's right or wrong, but come up with something. I mean, come on now. You, I'm teaching you how to be innovators. This is kind of on that line. Be part of the solution. I don't know, make up a solution. Again, it doesn't have to be right or wrong. I'm, I don't care. Oh, this one's Dr. Hazib. And I think uh, Kayla, Carla just talked about it. Building relationships. Most of the blue with the green are Dr. Hazib's because it was during that time. So thank you, Dr. Hazib. You got to build the re relationships. Reinvent yourself or perish. I think Tom Bishop talked about that. Um, someone talked about they're on their fifth job. You do have to re, uh, you know, invent yourself from time to time. You've got to keep up with the changing of the times. Oh, this might be a good one for self-help. And Dr. Hazib, you can cut me off when I hit my seven minutes because I do have a boss. Everyone wants to have a legacy. What's your legacy? What are you leaving behind? Oh, here's one, Dr. Hazib. Remember this one? You are as smart as your network. That's on Dr. Hazib. Oh, give deadlines. So if you have employees or work with employees, 
giving deadlines. I'm really bad about that. I like to let them make their own deadlines. Don't forget the why. Don't forget where you came from. Don't forget why you do something. Oh, the CEO is the brand. Like, there you go, right? Walk to Z. It's got to come from somewhere. See, they're all stuck together. Got cat fur. You have to bring it all out to move it forward. If you're not bringing yourself, you're not bringing it forward. Oh, this is one that obviously I did from the car, helping people. You've got to help people. Tailor your strategies to your total organization. Organization will fail if you're doing your own thing. Huh. Create trust. I just was reading Co uh, Stephen Covey again and that's in there. You have to set the example. Mm -hmm. Is it your choice or is it someone else's choice? I think we've talked about that, that you're, you need to do what you need to do, not what others expect of you. Oh, this is mine. I did one. <laughs> what does sick look like? What does sick look like? So some of you have been a regular know this about me. Some of the new people, maybe not. I'm a type one diabetic. And I have several other diseases that go along with that. But probably with y'all looking at me, you probably didn't know that I'm sick. I could be sick in a whole bunch of other ways too, but we won't talk about that. Seek in yourself and then take action. Oh, devil in the details. Culture breeds itself. Oh, don't blame. All right, we can play with these sticky notes later, um, but you know, just try a sticky note. Somebody says something that you're like, aha, write it down. Try it for a couple of weeks, see if it changes your world.